that's probably one of the uh, most challenging group of uh, patients as we uh, do not have a real good long-term plan for them. Uh, patients that are not eligible for intensive chemotherapy are usually patients that are not eligible for allogenic transplantation, uh, which is basically one of the um, only real uh, curative option uh, for a majority of these patients. So uh, finding ways to potentially improve the uh, the outcome of this patient and how to control uh, the disease on the long run uh, for this patient not eligible for intensive chemotherapy is definitely one of the uh, uh, hot topic for us right now. Uh, BCL2 inhibitors can help, um, targeted therapies can help. And one of the challenges that we have right now is basically how to sequence and how to combine these different agents to maximize the result, but also to uh, keep in mind the quality of life of the patient as um, uh, we know that especially in elderly and frail uh, individual, uh, preserving the, the quality of life is something that is uh, definitely one of the priority we have. We want patients to stay home. We don't want patients to uh, end up in the hospital for complication. Um, and so uh, this new agent that includes a lot of uh, oral uh, agents and uh, a lot of uh, agents with a pretty good toxicity as compared to conventional chemotherapy uh, are really important. Everything is really important.